this is my South Bend model 9A. It is, uh, I, I don't know exactly what year it was made, I believe sometime around 1946 47. It is actually a wartime production machine, so it could have been a little bit earlier. However, the serial number was obliterated. Uh, apparently it was destroyed, probably saved from salvage, but uh, as, there, as it was not uh, properly converted to civilian use, uh, somebody destroyed the uh, serial number. You can see a few of the numbers there, but I haven't been able to determine exactly. Looks like the last four numbers are 4223, but I can't tell what the rest of it is. So no way to tell exactly what year it was made. I have a couple of sets of uh, two almost complete sets of uh, 3C collets. I have the nose protector there, the sleeve. Uh, I've got a, chuckless, a keyless chuck. Uh, I've got a few other items to go with it. It has a, uh, uh, I've got a follower. Uh, I mean a uh, steady rest. I also have the uh, raw casting for a follow arrest. I haven't built the rest of it yet. I have a Shars AXA uh, tool post on it. I also have a, an old uh, boring bar there. The uh, the old type of tool post. Uh, the machine has been uh, completely refurbished. I replaced any marginal or uh, damaged parts. The ways are not in bad shape. There's a few notches right here by the chuck, uh, but nothing that disturbs it. And as you can see, there's very little uh, My fingernail, not even enough for my fingernail to catch. So there's uh, reasonable wear on it. It's been used, but not worn out. It still cuts fairly accurately. I've got a micrometer uh, stop on it there that uh, works as advertised. Uh, I bought a uh, thread dial. Uh, that is an original, but this one has had some work done to it. It'll work, but it does need to be refurbished. Uh, the paint is an original color. Uh, there were a number of original colors, but this is one of the original shades. It used to be a six-speed, but I upgraded it to a two-speed pulley there, so it is a 12-speed now. I also replaced the shaft for the... Uh, uh, the large pulley there. All the gears are in good shape. And it does everything that it's intended to do. I replaced the original uh, plate here, the data plate, uh, simply because the old one was beyond readable. Uh, and I never, my, I never put into it the uh, catalog or the bed length but it is a 42 inch bed as you can see. I have the old the original Cushman uh, three jaw. I don't know if you can see the there we go. Original Cushman three jaw and it's still in reasonable condition. I also have a four jaw and a drive plate under there and I have several drive dogs. I have a toolbox full of micrometers and uh, other tooling and gauges. Uh, some reamers. Uh, a couple of uh, Uh, good micrometers. And 
and some depth gauges and uh, in the original box. Those are brown and sharp, if you can see that on there. And uh, there's some more tooling and uh, micrometers. Uh, I have a, a small mill vise there. Don't know what it goes to. I have a Palmgren, Palmgren 250 that will go with it. And uh, some other things back in there. The drive dogs. I've got some drive dogs back in there in a large center. Uh, the old drive pulley. Some leftover paint. Uh, the tool stand is home built, very solid, uh, very solid, good, heavy, uh, sturdy tool uh, or work table. Uh, here's the. Let me make sure. Okay, need to plug it in. I have a new three-quarter horsepower uh, 110 uh, motor on it, which uh, is a Grizzly motor. I don't know if you can see the data plate there very well. It is a uh, 1,725 RPM three-quarter horsepower uh, motor, 60 hertz, and it drives this very well as opposed to the original you can hear that it runs quietly you can see that the uh, lead screw is turning both drives work See, it also has a uh, taper attachment, which is in good condition, with the proper bracket. Spent a lot of time putting this stuff together. I also have a uh, stand, and it has a proper bed bracket. And I call it stand there. I've already shown that I have the uh, call it attachments. I have the call it closer, which hangs back here in good condition. Uh, six uh, attachments for the tool holders for the Shar uh, AXA uh, tool holder. Uh, it also runs reverse. Back gear also runs well. There. This is in back gear. Oops.
I've dropped my phone. Now oh, I'll have to. I gotta have two hands to put that back into into gear. And this complete all works well.